Ah, my name's Wayne Hanegraaff and we're in Port Campbell down along the ocean road in Victoria. This is our office, the, where we put in every day. She gets pretty rough here in the winter and our pier actually disappears under waves too when it decides to get nasty. You more a boat here, you more at your own risk. Port Campbell's raw, you won't get any more serious of place to work out of than this as far as I'm concerned. Uh, pretty much it's some of the most beautiful coastline I reckon you'll find in Australia. Been uh, skippering 36, 37 years and did five, five and a half years on deck before that. And that's me little baby at the back there, the boat, Dolphin 2. She's a um, 29 foot pro marine with a 330 Volvo in her. And she is one really nice sea boat, very good sea boat. The licenses on that boat are worth a bit over $6 million at the moment. A uh, normal day, yeah, we drive down, reverse down the pier, under the crane, get hooked up to the crane and swing her in the water. And yeah, it probably only takes us five minutes to put the boat in in the mornings and then off to sea we go. Ah, yeah. uh, it's 3.7 tonne capacity. We're 3.6, so we're on the boundaries of things. So, But it's... Yeah, great asset for me anyway. I love the joint because it keeps all the other pros out because not many people like working out of here the way it's set up, but I'm used to it, so to me it's great. Yeah. To be able to go out there and pull you know, your, what you expect every day, there's not a lot of people can go out and catch craze every day of the week and be consistently what you want to catch and it's just a way of life for me. I'd started as a kid. It wasn't about money back in them days, and that's for sure. It was just, I love fishing, and I still do to this day. I don't know why, I couldn't really give you one reason. It's probably a number of things, but I just like being out there. Yeah. Probably because you're so free out there, you're working for yourself. It's only you and your decky out there. As long as you get on with your decky, life's pretty sweet. <laughs> When I started, we were getting $3.20, $3.40 a pound. Now we, we finished off at 90 bucks a kilo. But in the winter, it can get up to, last winter it got up to $125 a kilo last winter. You know, for someone that only did it because they were wagging school and loved fishing, that's turned out not a bad step. <laughs> Fish a lot off gut instincts, I always have. I don't know why. I can drive over a mile of ground and I won't like any of it. And then I'll drive over ground and go, this is it. And for some reason I keep fluking them. <laughs> yeah, went out and threw a line. End up just getting a couple of little snapper and a nana guy and a few blue throats. And yeah, sort of wasn't a wasted day anyway, enough for a good feed. Built by Pro Marine 26 years ago. It's always had Volvos in it. Started out with the 200s for a long time. And then we'll be five, six years ago, we um, put the 330 in it. And it was always a really good sea boat anyway. But now it's, uh, the motor's really made this boat now. It's, really you feel so safe in this thing now it's not funny because we've always worked the breakers so we were always pushing the envelope anyway but this thing has just got so much raw power and off the takeoff is incredible steering in reverse is incredible you can just put if you know how to drive a boat you can put it wherever you want the thing to go you will put it because they are in reverse they are so yeah they pull the way you want them to go they are good yeah hang on <laughs> that's the first thing i usually say is hang on because they've got pretty incredible takeoff we're running g5s on it now and if you probably went down to g2s or threes you'd have to be really hanging on because they drop you on your ass pretty. We've thrown pots off the back of the boat just by gunning it 
and we've actually had pots come off the back of the boat from me hitting the throttle too hard. So that gives you an idea on its takeoff. We had singles back in the early days. Your steering was always a lot more over the place where these really direct drive, straight drive. You haven't got, and the boat doesn't lay over. It used to sit sort of on one side a bit more on a chime, the earlier boat with the singles, but the Duros, yeah, you just, like, you can leave the wheel for 10 minutes and she, on a dead flat sea, you can just let her go and she'll stay straight. They're pretty good like that. Yeah. Coming down this channel, which is a lot of people's nightmare, we just have a ball. We just surf it in and like it's nothing to surf 15 foot waves in that boat. Yeah, where we took you this morning down to Lockhart, that was where the ship went down 100 odd years back. And that's pretty spectacular in there. Yeah. So in big seas, when those crew lost their boat, like the Lockhart, that would have been sheer living hell in there that night. It wouldn't, wouldn't have been nice and like big bombies so one minute you're in deep water and the next minute you're only in two three fathoms of water and there's not too many of us here that haven't been on the rocks at some stage of the game it's just how well you get out of it where i've been really lucky i haven't lost the boat yet i used to fill the 2000 litre bowser every 14 days when we were working the deep in the old days, but we, we were working a lot further from home. 60 gallon, 55 to 60 gallons a day we used to burn. Now on a big day, like we went to moonlight oh, about three quarters of the way to Cape Otway from here the other day, and we used a bit over a quarter of a tank, which is 15 gallons. At 3,000 revs, she's doing 30 knots and we'd be using somewhere around 40 litres to 45 litres. I'm not 100% on that because I don't, she burns that little, I don't care. So I never really take that much of a focus on it. So, but all I know is my fuel bill used to be 15 to $20,000 a year. And this year it was under 1,500. <laughs> I personally, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I very rarely touch it myself. And when I do, I just call Simon, Volvo Aqua Power. They've done me services ever since I put the motor in and, and they've looked after me brilliant. Like, they have been incredible the whole time. If I can get another two or three years crane, that's a long time out at sea. Not too many people do over 40 years at this place. <laughs> oh, I don't know anyone that's done 40 years at this place. So.